Welcome, everybody, to the Adventures of Grapple Crap. That's right, it's your boy. You all thought we were playing as the old merchant hag, but no, it was Grapple Crap all along. Firstly, I'll apologize if you can hear what sounds like Gotha Dammering outside. Uh, we've got another storm, so it's very loud. It's very loud outside. I've, I've tried to adjust my microphone to the extent where hopefully it won't make too much of a difference, but... Fingers crossed it's not going to deafen you all. Let me just adjust that a little bit more. How's that? Are we good? I think we're good. So today, uh, well, specifically yesterday, I died and lost 30,000 souls. So I ground out a load of extra souls. Went around Brightstone Cell Door a couple of times. Got the lay of the land a little bit better and went back to Heidi's Tower of Flame and killed my favorite Heidi Knights. We're back up to 28,000. Luckily, one of the items that were on the spikes in uh, Brightstone Seldora was a big soul. I don't remember which one it was. It was just like soul of a... wasn't soul of the Proud Knight, like one bigger than that. Definitely wasn't a soul of a hero, but it gave like 15,000 souls or something like that. So that saved me a lot of effort. Um, we will crunch these as well. I guess there's no downside to it. I need to get into the habit of not immediately crunching souls unless it gives us enough to give us a level. But I'm pretty sure that will, so we're fine. Let's see what we've got. Hello, Emerald Herald. Thank you for my Estus Flask upgrades yesterday. Um, so we got 100 agility, so we don't need to go adaptability much anymore. Uh, guess we could go for a bit more vitality. That gives us 1.5 equip load. We could go for a bit more endurance. Oh, we got two levels under our belt. Nice. A uh, bit more endurance? Certainly couldn't hurt. What are we looking at there? Also gives us a, a nice chunk of poise, too. Um, or we go with vigor, which is otherwise quite low. We've only got 18 points in bigger, or we could go all into strength. Um, strength will give us some health as well. How can I not go into strength? I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. It's just, it's just too easy. It's too tempting for me as someone who likes to roll a couple of times and deal a shitload of damage and sort of pick our moment. It's just too tempting for me. Uh, why don't we keep that on in hindsight? I was going to unequip that, but we might as well keep the pyromancy as a, as a sidearm option just in case we do fight a boss that... Uh, Put some distance between us. Bear in mind, we also still are trying to save up so we can use the Chime Hammer, which is 40 strength, 12 intelligence, and 12 faith. So that's pretty good. What is that intelligence symbol supposed to be? It looks like a skull, but I'm pretty sure it's not supposed to be a skull. We could also use the Samson Mace now if we feel like. Um, 59 poison. Wow, we can actually effectively wield that quite well. What's the stamina drain on that? Oh, I don't like the... Actually, I'm not sure. What do you think about the thrust attack on that one? Oh, this is one that poisons us. Right, I remember why we were going to use that. It's also a DLC item, so I don't really have much experience with it. We've also got the Dragon Tooth, Havel's Dragon Tooth there for 50 strength. Wow. We've got a lot of high strength weapons going on. We'll stick with our, we'll stick with the Glorious Craftsman's Lightning Hammer for a little bit of time here. And let's go back to Brightstone Saldora. Today, we get another of the great boss souls by killing the Duke's dear Freya, a giant, a giant spider. It's basically all it is. It's just a big, just a big fucking spider, isn't it? Um, do we want to drop down here, or do we want to go the other way to get to the... Yeah, so th th this is the sort of start of the town that we don't really want to go through. So we'll just blitz through this as fast as possible. I'll try and get to the boss with as much healing as possible as well. We've got six Esther Sippies. We still haven't found any Sublime Bone Dust or anything like that. It is Sublime Bone Dust in this game, isn't it? Right, excuse me, sir. I must leave. My people need me. Oh, I killed that fucking red crystal creature as well. Um... That was good. Yeah, he uh, exploded. He exploded and dealt me some damage. I didn't die, luckily, but I did have a lot of souls on me, so that was... I did out of desperation thinking he dropped something cool. Turns out he just dropped pain. Just dropped pain. Open this door, sir. All right, this is where we're supposed to be. Yeah, this is it. Right, let's get down there as soon as possible, and let's go fight this boss. The only real barrier after you're past this absolute clusterfuck of a town, the only real barrier is, of course, the big spider room, which we can just blitz through. I was able to blitz through it last time. I, I say that now, but chances are we're going to get... Ooh, I think stick to this wall. I think this was the safest bet. And obviously, we got to get past old spider fella there as well. Excuse me, spider fella. Can I... Can I just... Excuse me. I'm stuck in an animation. That's not fair. That's not fair. We're stuck. Roll. Oh, come on. Really? We were stuck in an the animation. That I couldn't do anything. It wouldn't let me react. I, could, I was, I was like spamming the roll button. No, I was spamming the attack button. Okay. Fine. So, last time I did that, he attacked into me and gave me enough space to climb up the ladder. This time, it just bugged out. This time, we were just stuck there. Oh, fucking Dark Souls 2, you're so bad. You're so bad. This game is just... Uh, it's just jank. It's just pure jank. Oh, let me... Can we play Dark Souls 3 now? Can we start Dark Souls 3 campaign already? Because this is just... This is killing me, Chief. This is... Uh, the reason, honestly, why I want to get a lot of Dark Souls experience in... Is I want to play Elden Ring, which is the... Have I gone the wrong way already? No, we're good. 
I want to play Elden Ring, which is that new game that's like, um, made by made by FromSoft, but then it's also like co-written or partially produced or some shit by George R. R. Martin, which is a weird one. Um, it's gonna be like Dark Souls, but pure open world fantasy. So rather than what you've got right now, I guess it'd be kind of perhaps more similar to Sekiro. To some extent. Like, Dark Souls 2, let's be honest, is a very linear game. Despite the fact it does have sort of semi-open world elements. Are you going to be an arse here? Are you going to make this spider fight really difficult? Oh no. That was a mistake. Excuse me. Excuse me, I would like to roll out. Excuse me, how do I leave? Oh god, this is, this is a tragic start. Excuse me, I would like to leave now. Thank you. The spiders are taking damage too, so we're good. Uh, I'm actually kidding. That was the ultimate ploy. To lure the spiders away from the ladder. Oh, it didn't work. The guy's still in there. All right, give us a give us a sippy. Well, that's a lot of enemies. That's a lot of enemies. Oh my god, that's a lot of enemies. Um, crowd control time. Oh god, what have I done? Luckily, they're all kind of half dead. Excuse me. Let me just have a sippy here. Wow. Uh, fuck. That's a lot of boys. Okay. Luckily, they are mostly dead. We're doing well. We're doing fine. Don't panic. Wow, that one did a lot of damage. Holy fuck. Get back. Okay, okay, not a problem. Everything's fine. Remember when I said we'll get to the Duke's Dear Freya without using too much... Oh, there's an item back there. I completely missed it. We'll get to the Duke's Dear Freya without using too much of our healing items. Yeah, that went really well. Oh, that went just, just stunningly well. You got any souls for me? Monastery Charm is not what we're after. Priestess Skirt, again, not really what we're after. What have we got here, though? Gold Pine Resin and Twilight Herb. How dare you. <laughs> How dare you. All right, we're fine. That was, uh, that was tragic. But it worked. Get fireball. Wow, those are just terrible, aren't they? I was going to say we'll try and save him for the boss, but in hindsight, probably not worth it. Probably not worth it. All that effort for 5,200 souls. My god, what a mistake. So basically, we just got to get to the bottom of here as fast as goddamn possible. I might even go human. Because we are missing a good 15% of our health there. Oh, it doesn't restore your health in this game. That's terrible. That's just terrible. So we're going to fight Duke's Dear Freya with, like, 75% of our health. Oh, great. I mean, I almost want to go back to the bottom fire and try this again. Let's just get to the bottom. Let's just get to the bottom as fast as we goddamn can. I might even ignore all the enemies and just get straight through the fog wall. Like, sod fighting all these spiders. There's a bunch of little boys at the bottom as well. I want to admit, impatience tends to be the thing that kills me the most in Dark Souls. Oh, there's a summon sign. I didn't even know there was a summon sign. Uh, can I? Sorry, can I? Okay. <laughs> Excuse me, health. Brilliant. Absolutely fantastic. Well, guess we're in it now. I don't know how we get to that summon sign. Oh, good lord. Oh, good lord. Let me in. Let me in. Thank you. Much appreciated. Okay. Are we prepared? No. There it is. It's a big fuck off spider. Let's just have some multiple sippy. Oh, god. I will, I will also make the point once again. This is kind of the last place that you want to be. Uh, not because there's a giant fuck off spider. Uh, but because out of all the boss souls, I'd say this one is kind of the hardest. Am I supposed to roll back the other way through that? That seems a bit shit. Get a bit closer, I guess, and then don't do the Prometheus School of Running Away technique. Ooh, okay, that works, that works. Another classic. Wow, this is going to be... Oh, my God. Uh, in traditional Dark Souls 2 style, this enemy also has two heads. Wow, this is, uh, is going to be interesting. It's going to be an interesting boss fight. Luckily, she telegraphs her attacks quite, quite well. So that's not going to be too difficult. Sorry, I was getting a little greedy there, trying to go for the little boys. This, this, this attempt, I think, probably doomed from the get-go. I'll be frank. However, it's not a hard boss. Just getting here is, is the real pain. Excuse me, little spiders, please fuck off. Why are we here? Is that the old Radiant Life Gem still? Wow, that thing's, uh, thing's pretty good, huh? I saw that coming in my way. I should have rolled. I'm sorry. I'm getting greedy here. Because there's still hope. Hope in Dark Souls is the biggest killer. To be fair, to say that we came out here with no healing and got it down to like two-thirds of its health. Oh, I got through two-thirds of its health. That's not too bad. This time I'm not going to fuck up that... Oh my god, that spider room. We are going to have to fight it, aren't we? We're going to have to fight it. There's no other way through. Alright, no impatience this time. No impatience. Let's try and go with actual healing. Estus this time. Easy boss. Easy boss. Just got to not foot this up. Excuse me, I'm, excuse me, I'm trying to, trying to get through. Thank you. Right, no getting hit on this part. Goodbye, thank you. 
I'm getting very impatient. Well, I just hate this area. It's so boring. It's so, like, everything looks the same. The building's all the same design. There's fucking the same enemy absolutely everywhere. It's just a really dull part of Dark Souls. It really is. I would rather do Farron Keep. Rolling through the swamp to avoid those giant goat monsters. Than do this. Because this is horrible. It's just incredibly dull. Th that's the thing about Dark Souls. The level design is... Or this Dark Souls 2. Specifically Dark Souls 2. Scholar of the first thing, I guess. Um, it's so sporadic with its level design. You know? Like, oh, now you're going to be in a, a big lava fort. You're going to be in Bowser's Castle. Now you're going to be in the Spider Desert. Now you're going to be in a dirty swamp. That's in every Dark Souls game. So we'll let him off a little bit. Oh, wow. You guys hit hard. Should not let those get so close. Excuse me. The fucking jars are in my way. Oh, there's an item, though. <laughs> Got item blindness there for a second. I'm going to take a sippy. Excuse me. Thank you. Actually, they got quite a long cooldown on their, on their attacks, haven't they? Oh, God. This guy's still coming. Go home. Good Lord. Fucking hell. Right. Four Estus. Brilliant. Still doable. Still doable. Maybe this is what they... Maybe they added all of this because they're like, Oh, this boss fight is way too easy. Maybe we just need to absolutely twat the player with enemies before they get there. And there was a summon symbol as well. Imagine summoning for this. It would make the boss fight trivially easy. I guess you'd probably summon, hear me out here, in a situation where you might have run out of uh, healing items or something like that. Then you could summon and sort of uh, maybe maybe win it on your first attempt. <laughs> Good one. All right. How am I supposed to get down without falling to my death then? That's, that's the one thing I don't understand. I did come through here earlier, but I did again fall to my death. Um, we did it the other day pretty well, though. Okay, so we run over here. And then we drop down drop down here. Okay, that's that's okay. That's an acceptable amount of damage. We're not humans. So we can't summon anymore. Ah, uh, excuse me? Did you see the fucking momentum he picked up? Sliding down that. That's not how gravity works, Dark Souls. Sp I'm Spider Man's supposed to be sticky. That was fucking Sonic 2 Adventure Battle style roads. Unbelievable. I can't believe I'm having this much trouble with the bloody Duke's dear Freya. I'm so annoyed. I'm so annoyed. The only hard boss fight I would say that we've got left, if it wasn't for my horrible impatience, the only hard boss fight I'd say we've got left is probably the Smelter Demon. That's a legitimately irksome boss fight. I wouldn't say it's it's difficult, like he's got big telegraphed attacks again, but in his second form, he just does so much damage. All you gotta do is slip up once, and that guy will wipe the floor with you. Right, so we know this fucker apparently chases us all the way there. So let's deal with you first, because you're an ass. Where's my pyromancy plan? Thank you. Okay, and then roll. We don't want to be fighting him on this damn bridge. Roll. Done. Right. Good start. I'm gonna be... I, I am now Mr. Patient. Friendship ended with... Mr. Haste. My new best friend is Mr. Patient. Alright, I'm just gonna just fucking let him come at me through this door where the numbers will count for nothing. It's when they start surrounding us. That's when it becomes an issue. Okay, that is a one-hit kill with the, with the big sweep. Go for more of that. Yeah! Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, that's fine. Done. Done! Good work, team. So I haven't used any Estus yet. Should we? Yes. Am I going to? No, it's the, it's the principle. Goodbye. Uh, what? Excuse me? You tell me I didn't hit him then? This fucking game. Hon honestly, this series is 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 taken... Uh, the more I play, the more I regret it. Because I remember just how bad Dark Souls get. I'm not even sure. I'm going to be frank with you right now. I can be bothered to do the Scholar of the First Sin stuff. I'm not sure I can be bothered to do the Ivory King. The Sunken King. Because this game is jank. It's just pure, unadulterated jank. The thing that makes Dark Souls good is the combat system. No one's gonna, no one's gonna argue with that. The combat is the main appeal of it. No one plays Dark Souls for the lore, and if you do, you're a complete psychopath. The combat is what makes it important, and the, and the combat and the timings and the roles in this, holy fuck, they are bad. Right, so here's what I'm going to do. Because I hate this area so much. Here's what we're doing. Uh, we're going to kill these guys. We're going to kill these guys. 
First and foremost, please fuck off. How is this? Excuse me. You are just a hollow. You will never get this. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to go human. I'm going to summon. What? Do not. I'm going to summon whoever the hell it is. And we are just going to wipe this boss out this time. And I'm never coming back here for the rest of my life. <laughs> Please do not. Please, just die. Thank you. All right. Let's go human. We've got 17 human effigies. Why not? If we're going to use them at any point, I feel like the, the great boss souls is probably not a bad shout. Where was that summon symbol? There's our old blood stain. I don't give a fuck about that. Um, where was it? Was that the front of the... I thought it was like over this side. Uh, hello? Well, we saw it. Uh, maybe there is no summon. Was it, was it further up again? You're telling me the AI has to try and navigate this? No. No, I must be... It's not up there, is it? I saw it on a platform as we were coming down last time. But I feel like the AI trying to navigate this is going to be a mistake. So how the hell do we get back up? Oh my god. This is a fucking labyrinth. Right, goodbye, spider. I'm so sorry. This is, this is just the worst. We can't see anything. I have no idea where I'm going. Yeet. Oh, there it is. Found it. Who is it? Ashen Knight Boyd, join me. Ashen Knight Boyd, join me. I need your strongest potions. There he is. Welcome. It's not a player. Player would have absolutely... Uh, a player would have absolutely done something there. Alright, join me. We're off to fight the big spider. I'm going to take another sippy. We're, we're going to be at full sippy, sippy health. Be gone. Do not harm my friend. What what the fuck are you talking about? How did that hit me? It slightly lurched forward. I thought it had a sneeze or something. Spider sneeze? Someone Google that for me. All right, I'm gonna deal with some of the ads to help my friend Ash Knight Boyd. Oh, the targeting is really fucking me up here. I won't lie. Okay, goodbye, small spider. Where is he? Is he joining us in this fight? Oh, there he is. Thank you. Oh God. Please, please get out of my way. We. What? That one was still alive? Oh, this... <clears throat> that one was fucking still alive. I thought it was just ragdolling. No, I'm, I'm bored. I'm thoroughly, thoroughly bored. This is the most boring gameplay experience I've ever had with Dark Souls. These towns are shit. These enemies are shit. You're shit. Goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you. I'm done. I'm done with Dark Souls. It's, what, this is the worst of the Dark Souls games. I'm saying it. It's, it. It used to be my favorite. Because I thought the level design was varied. Now I realize it's just shit. It's just copy and paste shit. Get me out of here. No, I'm I'm done. I'm out. Excuse me. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not up in the door. Could I press A and open it instantly? Yes, I could. I want to smash these doors. Ashen Night Boy, you've betrayed me. You've done nothing. I'm going to summon him again. If we can. If we can't, I'm going to be annoyed. But that's okay. It's fine. Oh, this boss is too easy. Seeing as it's supposed to be one of the four major bosses of the game. Oh, this is way too easy. Let's make the player go through hell to get there. Kill that spot. Almost killed that fucking spider with no healing. Now I can't even get back to the fucking thing. Oh, this is not... <sighs> I'm just going to fireball. I'm just going to fireball. Oh, fantastic. Good, great, fucking great shot. Just a fucking great shot there. Please get out of my way. Please get out of my way. I have a spider to fight, and you are not it. Please be gone. Thank you. How did that not hit the other one? Oh, the hitboxes in this are shite. Sorry, I'm still stewing from that last... From that last attempt, because... That guy killed me as he was dead. The guy hit me as he was dead. I'm going human again. I don't care. I don't care if I'm wasting effigies. I don't, could not give less of a fuck. We're picking up so many goddamn effigies. Right, four Estus. At least we know where the boss is now, so I don't have to... Uh, sorry, the summon is, so I don't have to keep doubling back, assuming he's still there. Uh, he's gone. He's, he's absolutely gone. That's fine. That's okay. It was a distraction anyway. Whatever. So annoyed. Just so, it's just so annoyed. Just so annoyed. Right, yep, goodbye. Thank you. Ah, oh, look, it's that same spider enemy that we've seen 400 fucking times already. Oh, don't go down that way. That's an instant death. Oh, where the fuck am I supposed to go from here, then? 
Because if we go down there, we know that gravity will immediately consign us to death. Oh, uh, you know what? To add insult to injury, they even make you walk slower. They wait, they walk slower so you can enjoy this fucking scenery. Yeah, appreciate that. Oh, look, it's another dark, stony room. Great. I'm gonna fight all these fucking idiots. Can they even get up to us from here? No. <laughs> that's that's just the pinnacle of game design right there, isn't it? We'll fill the room with enemies. But they can only get to the player half the time. Oh, he's still there. Thank God. All right, join me. Summon him now. Summon him now. Bring 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 him to me. You can help me clear out all these fuckers. Excuse me. How? How did you do that? How is this hammer only hitting a third of the time? Please. Be gone. Ash and Nightboy, do not die. I do not have the strength to do this by myself. I don't have the mental fortitude. Why is he standing there? Why is he standing there and letting himself get hit? You're a foolish man. Right, follow me. Let's make sure these enemies that are in front of it are cleared out. Otherwise, he apparently takes four hours getting through the fucking fog door. Sippy. Ash and Nightboy, there's an enemy right there. That's it, stab the fog wall. Stab the fog wall. At least, at least I know that the game itself inherently has issues with its own combat systems. It's not just me. You know? Right, are we ready? Are we good? You're coming in. Join me. Please follow me through. Thank you. Much appreciated. Hello, big spider. Right, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to run this side. I'm going to run this side. Ash Knight Boyd's going to come through. He's going to provide me a healthy little distraction. Please be careful with your legs. Excuse me. Those are... Ow. Oh, it does dirty poison as well. Didn't do that before, did it? You can fuck off. Oh, no. What's it doing? Is it doing a laser beam? I was doing a laser beam at Ash Knight Boyd. Now we go for the damage. Fucking roasted. <laughs> if I could hit it. God damn. Please stay away. Please, please do not. Please do not. Sippy. And a sippy. Thank you. Good work, Ash Knight Boyd. Doing the Lord's work. Right. Goodbye. I can't hit the spider. I cannot hit it. It's it's too far away with the shitty hammer. Sippy sippy. What are you doing? Uh, vomiting everywhere. Okay. Uh, you're gonna you're gonna stop. I'm out of healing already. Well, I haven't even fucking hit this damn thing yet. Roll, please. Please roll. Thank you. This may be the worst. What the fuck is it doing now? Oh my god, the AI can't hit it. It doesn't know you're supposed to hit it in the head. Oh, fucking FromSoft, really? Is this what we think is a good idea? Is this video games? Please roll. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. This is the worst boss fight in Souls history. Bar none. Bar none. If it, if it wasn't just for the runner. Oh, the summon is useless. <laughs> Just, I just don't. Well, this way is clearly quicker, so we're gonna roll down here for now, and I don't care if it injures me. I'm just, just gonna. We're just gonna, we're just gonna keep trying over and over and over and over, just over and over and over. Please open the door. I need a bigger weapon. I think that's, I think that's become painfully obvious. That's become painfully obvious right there with that last fight. We need a weapon that can actually hit it, because I was swinging at that, and I don't want to get right in front of it because if we do get right in front of it mid attack. We can't roll out of the way. We physically cannot get the distance we need. What are we looking at? What's our equip load? 53% actually. We could wear potentially some light armor. Um, Hex's robes. It's better than nothing, isn't it? Drake Keeper armor. The Wanderer coat. Ooh, yikes. What's that compared to this one? Okay, that one's better and lighter. Well, that outclass it in every way besides bleed. And it's lighter. Incredible. You got a hat for me. Uh, we can wear any hat we want besides the bull mask. So we're going back to the Pharos mask for good luck. Unreal. <laughs> Friendship ended with hammer. No, my new best friend is Cloud Strife. I might permanently use the greatsword. I might it might become our weapon of choice from now on. Because the hammer is I I even look, you can go back and watch episode like one or two. What did I say? Hammer's range is terrible. And now it's starting to bite me in the ass. But the issue is I'm committed to it because we've upgraded it so much, I actually infused it. Go for a fire infuser. They'd fucking like that, wouldn't they? Fucking spiders. Be gone. Where did that one come from? 
Where did he come from? We've never seen that before. Came from behind? Oh my god, where are they all coming? What are they doing? This this is so strange. I'll be honest. I'm feeling the great sword right now. Oh, that's where I wanted to hit. Thank you. I'm feeling the great sword right now. Granted, its stamina use is obviously ridiculous. But my god, this is uh this this could be the one. Have we got like a forward attack? No. That see that is the issue. We don't have a, a thrust attack with it by the looks of it. The overhead's not bad for thrust. Like this attack. But in that narrow corridor, I think it might have hit the roof. Alright, I'm in. I'm in with a great sword. This this might officially be the new weapon of choice. People have been saying that anyway, but I've been like, you know what? No. Craftsman's hammer. We got a we got a nice hammer. It's good for armor piercing. We kind of passed the point where it's just a load of men in armor. There's still men in armor. We got fight like second we get to uh honestly Dranglet Castle, I'm probably gonna go back to the hammer. But for now, we're fighting a big fuck off spider. Yeah, I'm alright with this. Should've gone with the fire sword, like I said. I think I might go back and infuse it with fire at some stage as well. The only thing that won't work for is like the old Iron King. Uh, excuse me, can I? Is this safe? Is this a safe drop? Or is this another one of those gravity defying spider webs that's gonna get me fucking annihilated? That's human. Maybe not right now. Maybe that was a bad time. Please fuck off. Goodbye. Uh, no, do not. Wow, we killed those guys in one swing. The damage is very good. What, what are you doing? <laughs> the damage is very good compared to the mace. But I don't know if damage was really our issue. It was definitely the reach. The stamina management with this is going to be phenomenal, though. Ow. Hey, officially, though, the Duke's Dear Freya is our most boss attempts now. With, is this the fifth attempt, I think? Before that, it was the uh, it was the uh, the procession, right? It's all been this. I should not have skipped over Huntsman's Cops or the gutter to come here first. That was my first mistake right there. All right, come on then. I'm gonna summon this guy again, even though he's probably a bad idea, just because he's gonna make the boss a bit more sporadic, a bit more unpredictable. That over head attack is really good. I really like when it also goes in completely opposite direction to where I actually want it to go. That's also very good. It's also very good. What? Excuse me. <laughs> uh, camera also just cinematic. It's toggle lock on. Yes. Auto target is on. Fine. Just making sure auto target was on. That was the important thing. Because, uh, I don't even notice, but I was locked onto that spider when he decided to swing everything besides the spider. Alright, you ready? My friend, this is, the, this is the final attempt. If we fail, Dark Souls 2 is officially cancelled from here on out. Right, I'm going to immediately get the fuck away from all these ads and wait for Ash and Knight Void to get in here. Get yeeted. Phenomenal. Always a great sign. How the fuck am I supposed to roll away from that? How? Explain this to me. Kill all these bloody spiders. Wow, that was like three, three and one there. Very nice. I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. Give me a sippy. No, stay away. Those things can do half our health and we're lightly armored now. Well, compared to what we were before. Right, never go for the... Okay, only overhead. How did that miss? Right, two hits. Very nice. Good stuff. A lot of stamina regen. Go for a hit. Go for a roll. What's it doing? Uh, what the fuck is it doing? He kind of knows where to attack. But last time we fought this fucking thing, he was just going for the side, which is obviously not right. But we can get three attacks in, but that leaves us without a roll. So I'm not going to be doing that. Should we just fuck off at this stage? We're going to stay away. we got to be careful. There is an edge to this map that we can straight drop from. All right, here we go. What are you doing now? Laser beam. You absolute fool. You have left yourself wide open. Or not. What? What are you talking about? <laughs> Did you see that? Oh, God. It's shit like that that frustrates me with this game. That should have done damage. That, I don't know what the hell happened there. I think we've probably got this one in the bag. Oh my god, please. Please, just, just, just die. Just fucking die, you big... Sp please. Right, it's dead. Thank you, Ashen Knight Boyd. I approve. Goodbye. He's having a sippy. I'm also gonna have a sippy. Well, that was fun. Uh, so the cool thing about this one is 
the Duke's Dear Freya itself isn't the giant soul, is, isn't the, the boss soul. It's actually this giant dragon that they've captured in their web, which is why this one glows red, so you'll actually see the damn thing. Great soul embraced. There it is. So the great soul comes from the dragon, not the, not the spider, which I thought was quite a nice little twist on things. Yeah, the great, sword, the great Sword, honestly, it cemented itself. That was a really, really, really easy boss fight when we had range. Getting out of the way of its lunge attack was impossible. And here is the Duke himself. Or should I say here was the Duke. So we get for making me do this four times, you prick. And that is the Duke right there. Brightstone Key, Lizard Staff, Bandit's Knife. So now we can open some of the other buildings in the Brightstone Cell, Dora. I'm not going to be doing that. I'm going to be doing that. Um... But yeah, he's, he's obviously the Duke of the Realm. Likes his pet. There's a little cage there, which might have been where the spider escaped from, essentially. It's quite fun. Joy ahead. It's tea. It is tea. And now, for our second primal bonfire. On the plus side, though, the rest of the game is going to be really fucking easy, because I'd argue we've done the hardest area first. Second primal bonfire means... Nothing? No. Oh. Sorry, my bad. I thought it would be... Uh the big man but uh, there is no big man yet unreal thank you for watching that that was an entirely frustrating experience great sword i'm gonna go back to i'm gonna go back to uh no i'm not gonna infuse it we're gonna leave this raw we leave this raw maybe we should actually put a raw gem on it something like that just go for massive physical i know i think that actually lowers the i think it actually lowers the Effectiveness of the of the weapon itself. So we need Titanite chunks. Can we buy those? What have you got for me? Titanite. We've got regular Titanite shards. That's not not useful, my friend. Um, let's check with the merchant. See if she's got any Titanite chunks. I don't believe she does. Then we'll also check with Macduff. Um, Titanite chunks. She's got healing gems. Should we buy a couple of healing gems? She only got ten of those. Buy ninety nine. I'm not going to be buying ninety nine. How many are there? Three hundred each. So let's buy ten of them. Yeah, I think that's fair. There's also a fragrant branch of yours we should probably buy. Sort of preempt it a little bit. I think that's a good idea. And then let's go and spend some of these souls. And no, actually, let's go some McDuff first, just in case he does have an item I need there. That was a painful fight. That was a painful fight. Can I re-record this episode and just start it with the great sword now so people don't laugh at me? <laughs> the Lost Bastille. Hello, friend. What do you got for me? Um, doesn't have that great axe. I mean, I do. I feel like great. It's large time that shard. That's no good. There are other blacksmiths, though, aren't there? Am I wrong in thinking there's a giant blacksmith in this in this game? We got there. Black Knight Great Sword. Ooh. That one does fire damage by default. Hmm. There's no reason we couldn't have both. I mean, this one's an ultra great sword, though. Have we got any other ultra great swords? Uh almost certainly not. No, we don't. Good great hammers. That's it. Okay, cool. We'll leave it there for today. I will look into some guides about whether or not it's worth infusing our Ultra Greatsword. So we can lose the scaling on it, which means the higher our strength goes, obviously, the less it's going to be useful there. Um, Enchanted, again, just gives us faith scaling, so that's not really worth it. Um, two, three, three, two, three. Oh, I don't know. I'll think about it. Anyway, I'll, I'll go and look at some guys, see if it's worth it. Thank you all for watching. I apologize about this frustrating event.